Happy Friday, dorks. How's it going? Hello. It's Friday, ain't it? Hello. It's Unchowder. It's Dwarf Fortress time. It's... It's a Friday. <laughs> I, I usually stream on Thursdays. And then I didn't yesterday, kind of by surprise. Kind of last minute. Had a thing that I had to do. And yeah, um, if you were caught off guard by that, then you're not in the Discord. Because Discord knew about it. So if you want to be you know, told about, you know, stuff like that, then uh, then hop in the Discord and you'll get all the all the updates for what's going on. But uh, if you're watching a VOD, so you don't care. Um, today's episode is sponsored by Rivers. I ain't got nothing to sell you. Uh, I'm just, yeah, click, click, click the buttons, subscribe, follow, whatever, join the Discord. That's all good stuff. That's all I care about. Um, let's play Dwarf Fortress. Let's play Dwarf Fortress. I've, I've been, I've been excited for this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unpause just because they'll all, they'll all go do their own thing. Um, but I have some plans. i would made some blueprints. I have a thing that I want to do here. And I didn't want to just like, like I got, I made a plan for myself and then wasn't able to stream yesterday. So then the whole time that I was like not streaming, just sitting there in a Zoom call thinking, oh, I could be, I could be working on this right now and just making myself grumpy. So uh, instead of skipping yesterday's stream, we're going to do a makeup stream today and do exactly what I wanted to do yesterday. Everything's going to be fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. So here we are. Oh, look, combat log. Oh, it's forgotten beast, whatever. That's fine. Um, speaking of Forgotten Beasts, that's what we're going to work on today. Not reach site. Oh, is this with the other thing that I did? Yeah, okay. Well, Suspend Manager. I need to turn Suspend Manager back on, I guess. Enable. Is that... Yeah, okay. Perfect. They'll, they'll do that in the correct order. Um, we'll get to that, though. That's the second half. Main thing you need to know is... Where where we go? Here we are. Menagerie. Forgotten beasts. That's what we're talking about today. We made a menagerie. We have four we have four bees sitting here just chilling. Um, they've been here for a couple streams now, and I've been I haven't been routing our goblins in here. The whole purpose of this was that this is a trap for goblins. This is something where we can just have forgotten beasts sitting here. And so I'm going to turn my sound down just a little bit. Um, the idea is that we can just be routing goblins into some sort of structure and then it makes them fight a forgotten beast and then and then it's good, right? That's the whole idea here. Um, and this isn't this isn't going to work. This doesn't live up to my standards. My my initial Mark One version of this um, is it's not quite up to what I want it to do. Um, so I'm going to address the, the faults with our next with our next iteration, uh, which is what this is. Um, so problem number one: flyers can escape. <laughs> I guess that's the that's the that's one of the big ones. Flyers can escape, and goblins don't end up getting caught in it. That those those are the two main things that make this not really functional like I want it to be functional. Um, the way we have it is these are just big retracting bridges. Goblin comes down through here, and then these these other passages lead up to a little passage and then back up, and then eventually dumps back out onto the surface. Uh, so the idea is that the goblin comes in here thinking that they can get into our fortress by going over these bridges, and then they press a pressure plate here, and then that retracts the bridge, and then any of the goblins that are you know coming in behind they get dropped down into the respective pit and they and there's like there's this is just a pit there's no way out of here right these are all locked the bridges are raised goblins don't get out beast fights the goblins hooray right that's that that was the idea um one problem that came up with this is that a we're not triggering until at least one goblin has left the zone right so at least one goblin is going to get through every time but more realistically, because there's a delay between 
pressing a button and the thing happening. Um, specifically bridges, uh, mo most things. There's a delay between most things. There are some exceptions, which we'll get to. Uh, there is a delay between pressing the pressure plate and the bridge retracting. So if there's, you know, five goblins coming through and they're all tightly grouped together, just in a little pod, and they come running through, first goblin presses the button, and then the bridge waits, and then the rest of the goblins, if they make it through in that time period, they don't go in the trap. That's just that's just wasted. That's just a wasted trap attempt. The all all of them go, get through and they come back up to the surface, which is fine. Uh, you know we have our we we end up putting our our melee squads up here so that they can deal with uh, anything that leaks through. But in that case, the trap did nothing. Nothing happened. So that's not great, right? So, so issue number one is that we want to actually trap the goblins that are coming into the trap and not have things leak through, or at least be able to more predictably trap the, the bulk of them, right? Issue number two was that since this is a tall thing, this is two levels tall, like when the, when the, when this bridge is retracted, some, a, a beast that is down here that can fly, like, for instance, uh, Anne Anne here, I believe is a flying flying thing, a great hairy slug, big flying slug. This bridge opens, a forgotten beast goes, oh yay, tasty goblins, thank you, but I can also escape and use this same passage and get out into the courtyard and fight dwarves, right? That's less good. That's not really what we want. We want to be able to put goblins in without the beast coming out. That's the functional part of this, right? Oh, we're already, we're digging. Okay, good. Um, so, those two things in mind. Here's what we're going to do. This. <laughs> this will be a single menagerie cell. Um, we don't quite have the space to do like a whole row of them. Um, this is going to be a prototype. Uh, maybe in the next fortress we'll have a whole a whole setup, a whole money hall setup. Uh, but right here we're going to have space for a single forgotten beast. And this is going to be a a resettable menagerie trap. Um, so all of this is going to be open. This It'll be a little hard to imagine exactly what this is going to look like because uh, just the, the digging designations don't really show what's going on here. Um, but we'll have we'll have some control structures up here. We'll have some doors and gates up up here and down here. And, and you'll see that there's two there's two entrances and there's two exits. And then this whole middle strip down here is going to become a gate, a single tile wide gate that is raised under like when this test is or when the trap is not being used, the gate is up. So we have this kind of sneaking structure. We have two two little windy bits with a with a bridge between, and they're completely separate. So we will have a forgotten beast in one or the other side of this, and it doesn't matter which. And that's important. Fine, whatever. We'll get to the stuff. <laughs> oh, crundles! Crundles are dying. Great. Great, great, great. Um, so the other thing, so this is not, this is a single level thing. This is the whole thing. Hello, hello. Oh, and now we're saving. Um, we're gonna build, we're, I'm building a prototype in Mark II Menagerie. So I'm just, uh, ex we're, we're digging out an initial thing and I'm explaining what's going on. Um, we haven't missed anything yet. Also, the the creature is right here, which is just off screen, chilling right here. She is in she's full loaf mode too. <laughs> um. So yes, this the the menagerie cell. This this single structure will have will have two halves, and they're both both these little sneaky bits with a bridge in between. Mine has his back paws on the keyboard and front paws on my knees. Yep, perfect. <laughs> oh, hey, you're early. We don't have it ready for you yet. 
Um, okay, so uh, because we're digging new stuff, I'm gonna have to add it to our our safety burrow. Um, and then yeah, we'll we'll add all of this. This is fine. Well, they're not gonna be able to really get over here because I don't want them. There's not a safe way for them to get here. Okay, so they'll they'll pause while we're being saved. Fine, whatever. Uh, civilian alert. And then we put melee in the courtyard. Should I should I get all three of our squad? Should I get our newbie squads in this? Oh, I don't want to slaughter too many people yet. <laughs> we'll put the yeah uh, guards go on the the wall. Melee goes in the courtyard, and we'll go ahead and do we'll do our goblin blender. This one's been working. I'm satisfied with the goblin blender, so we'll keep keep utilizing that. Pull, and then this gets a pull, and then our garbage chute gets a pull, just so that nothing sneaks in. Menagerie improvements is my favorite thing. Well, then you're in luck. Um, okay, so here come some goblins. Oh, that's a quite a, that's a handful. That's a small handful. Oh, here they come. I think, I think the, the size of our sieges are going to start getting, start getting a little bigger. Um, the rest of this is closed off, right? So this, this doesn't go anywhere yet. They can get in there, but whatever. They can't get through here. Here come the melee dwarves. Um, so goblins are going to get routed into here. And this is currently inactive, but we did tell someone to pull it. Yeah, someone's on their way. Okay. So the only way for people to get in, aside from like climbing over walls, which we've seen very occasionally, uh, but they're gonna try to come through here. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. Yeah, one got through. But now they're just gonna get smacked by minecarts. <laughs> Um, and then the one made it through, but there's melee dwarves up here, so you just get annihilated immediately. And the rest have to deal with this. Oh, there we go. And then once the once all the minecarts are derailed, then there's not much to be done here, but, you know, whatever. Um, I can even come in here to the bridge and pull this. And that will kind of... that'll separate them a bit, right? We'll have We'll have a group that's gotten through... And then are there still there's still some back here? Yeah. The enthusiasm is waning, is it? They're they're slowing down. <laughs> hmm. Um, let's go ahead. I'm gonna turn this off because you know. Don't wanna don't wanna have dwarves go in there and reset it and, and kill themselves. That would be bad. Um, but I'm gonna wait for for these. Some of the are these all healthy? That one's injured. That one's healthy. That one's unconscious. Nice. Are these? These all made get out unscathed. Some of them got injured. Yeah. Okay. So we softened them up a bit. So now they're gonna come out here. They're gonna shoot at <laughs> guards on the wall. But then the melee dwarves come in and clean them up. Perfect. Yeah. See, fighting them in little groups like that, that's great. Not not trying to get them all at once. And we can shoot on, shoot on them from our parapets. Are you... Are you tired of this yet, goblins? Let's go ahead and open this gate, and then we can just go out and clean them up. Yeah, they're even done sieging. They're already done. They're already done! They're just, they're just milling about now. Just waiting for this door to open. Our dwarves are still there. Yeah, here we go. You just go kill. Confirm. Three targets. So oh, there's one more. I'll get them on the way. Where you going, goblins? <laughs> and that's. Oh, and I have a cat in my my UI here. Down there somewhere. Uh, creatures, other... Oh, there are still a couple. What? 
how'd you get in here? How'd you get in there? How'd you get in there? That's closed, that's closed. Did they... Here? Is there... is there a hole in our courtyard? There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be. Ah, uh, well there's... there's some dwarf blood, so there's been fighting in here. Okay, well, clearly, we need to tell our squads um, let's even get our, our trainee squads in the, on this cleanup scenario. You, you. There was two more? You. Did they end up coming in through the garbage? That isn't... Hmm... Hmm, are there, are there more? There's a fourth one somewhere. We got you. Got you. Are there two there? No. What am I, what am I missing here? Excuse me. <laughs> Just slowly going insane here. Okay. What am I missing here? Dang. Dang is there. We've seen Dang. We've seen Nako. Swansu? Where the heck is. I'm confused. Smuntsu and Naku, Nako. Or no, you're there. Aha. Okay. Jeez. Um, you you should be fine. You're gonna come out the same way as some others. Oh. If I if I do that, yeah, it actually it overrides the others. So let's do one, two. The other ones go. Come on. Three. Fine, whatever. The amount of nostalgic Pokemon music gives me is so bad. I know, right? It's it's just all so good. Okay, so I think we got that one. And then you're down here. And they see I'm all kind of operating the under the impression that they can't jump down through this through this. That is an assumption though. Where are you going? You're going up. <gasps> Did you just kill someone? Oh no! You killed Cog! Oh god. That was one shot! Wow. Or did you see that poor, poor cog? Oh God. Wow. Okay. Uh, take goblin seriously sometimes, I guess. Yeah. Okay. There's one there, and there's one there. I think that's all, that's all of them. You know, you and you confirm. Cog has been found dead. Yeah, I saw. You're just gonna chill there on the corpse. Wait for someone to catch up? Okay, so we, we're getting that one. No. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now you're cornered. Okay. So now we're now we're clear. That was that was unfortunate. We actually had a death there, didn't we? That's been a it's been a minute since we've had just an honest to goodness death by goblin. Okay, so how'd they get in? <laughs> All this garbage. Uh, oh, and we should open this. No, that's not that's not what I meant. Go to there. Open the thing. Thank you. 
I don't have the attention span or style to play the Pokemon games again. I used to sit in the back of my parents' car on long journeys. Doesn't really happen now. I know, right? I mean, that's... Getting old, having responsibilities. Kind of sucks. Um, okay, so hopefully they're going to take all these goblin corpses and toss them into this, this stockpile here. Which looks like it's happening. At least all the teeth are getting in there. Um, but yeah, how the heck... How did they get in? They shouldn't be able to jump down this. They've even... they've See, they also like to break some of these minecarts. We, like, lose a couple minecarts every time it happens. Should make, like, some steel minecarts or something. Yeah, okay, so this, that's how this is supposed to work. And then now they're probably taking the rest, or no? You are hauling. But none of that's garbage. That's all... Yeah, okay, that's gear. That's all fine. But now someone needs to take all the garbage from here and put it in the minecart. That's what's supposed to happen. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what's supposed to happen there. Okay. So we'll let them clean up the trash. And then we'll keep digging stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, a cat has been found dead too. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, right in there. Dang. Yeah, so how... Hmm... How did that happen? We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to keep an eye out for... Holes in our defenses there. Uh, but... Other than... Other than that weirdness... They shouldn't have been able to get in through here. This is this is all closed. This is all closed. Hmm. Well. There was a lot of fighting. Uh stuff's happening. Here's humans. Hooray. And we're good. <laughs> a lot of interruptions, some snatchers. We're good. Okay. Now, as I was explaining before, I was so rudely interrupted by goblins. Menagerie V2. Two sides. They both have a little snake. Um, and then the this middle column here will be a, a gate that is raised under most circumstances. So that kind of, you know, forces them to actually take this snaking path. Um, and the, the purpose of that is that a goblin is going to come in through here and when we are being sieged we will open up one side of of the cell you'll have you'll have a, a beast in one side and this you know it'll be closed so the beast is just trapped in there same way it's trapped in here and have a bridge and they'll have you know a mirrored side of the cell but this is open on top and bottom and then this thing does the same thing. It comes down through here, they, and then the goblin sees that they can come up, and then they could come up through here. This gate would be closed, so they're basically trying to go from here to here. If anything gets through, they fight the melee dwarves. Same principle as the, the other stuff. So goblin comes in. There's going to be a pressure plate uh, on both on both sides, but the pressure plate's gonna be up on, on this side. And that pressure plate is going to trigger gates on both top and bottom of of that side and then we will have a separate lever that controls the the divider to undivide uh so so yeah you'll end up with a trapped a, a trapped beast and a long hallway a long twisting hallway Goblin comes in, presses the button, and then they would have to... Like, for a goblin to get through, they would have to press the button and go through this whole snaking path before the, the door down here closes. And I 
Like a goblin sprinting could make that distance, but I think they're not always going top speed. Um, so I think I'm pretty comfortable with this as far as, you know, the distance they have to cover between pressing the button and, and getting to the exit. So, so yeah, uh, goblin presses button, maybe has a handful of goblins behind him. Half a dozen goblins filter in. The gates close. So now you have one side with a forgotten beast, one side with some goblins. The only thing dividing them is a bridge that we have control over. All the exits on all sides are closed. We just lower the divider, let them fight, watch the results. And then once they're done, we just raise the curtain again. We raise the divider. And the, the, the thing that I'm proud about about this design is that it's symmetrical. It, we don't care once the, once the Forgotten Beast has dealt with the goblins or if the Forgotten Beast dies. Worst case scenario, there's still some goblins in there. Uh, but, you know, you, in normal circumstances, hopefully we have a Forgotten Beast and a bunch of goblin corpses. We pull the divider. It doesn't matter which side the Forgotten Beast is on, because these two sides are equivalent. Both of these sides can handle having a beast in it or letting goblins in. And we just... a hey, MoMA's been re-elected. Cool. So yeah, uh, once the Forgotten Beast has, has done what we ask of it, then we just raise the divider, and then it's trapped on one side or the other, right? It doesn't, we don't care which side is on. The next time goblins show up, we just open the side that the Forgotten Beast is not on. You see what I'm doing? Does that, does that make sense? Is that a, <laughs> I don't know if that's a, it'll make sense once we see it in practice, but this is, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Um. Uh, humans have brought stuff. You can bring more wood. That's fine. Do you bring stone? Can you bring me stones? Can you bring me some fuel? Lignite and bitch moose coal. That's all I care about right now. Okay. Uh, let's get some stuff over here. Bins. Uh, sure. It's, it's all the finished good bins. Uh, doop, doop, doop. Done. All good. So, in principle, that is how the menagerie works. There is one element left to explain. Wow, this... our armor stockpile. Holy cow. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. The other aspect of what we're doing here is the fact that when a... And, and part of this is me... If, if this is not 100% correct, I, I'll be wrong, whatever. Um, <laughs> my current understanding, when we have a pressure plate hooked up to a bridge, right? Uh, you, you have... Pressure plate in an in inert position and gate is down, right? Someone presses the pressure plate, gate goes up. As soon as someone gets off the pressure plate, gate goes back down. Pretty sure what's going to happen is that the, the gate sealing in the goblins will only be shut as long as there is something on the pressure plate. And that's not very useful, right? We don't want... We don't want the gates to be like opening and closing as goblins are walking over them. We want a goblin to enter and the, the gates to raise and then be, be, be stuck until we are okay with opening them manually. Luckily, there is a way to do that. A migrant has arrived. Yay. Where, where are you? A migrant to replace Cog. Besmar, talented weaponsmith. Oh, nice. Nice. Welcome. Uneasy after seeing a goblin's dead body. Well, guess what? Oh, where's your personality? Poor focus, poor spatial sense. 
Often tells pointless stories when he's nervous. Scratches his nose when he's nervous. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, um, so the, the other half of what we'll be building today is, is in a different location, even though it's very closely related. It's down here. I mostly just found a spot for it. Um, this is, it's down here. So there, you can see they're, they're building in a wall here just to, uh, close it off here. This also won't make sense until it's all dug out and, and built. But, you know, we'll, we'll get there. Um, but the, so much silk, oh my god. The long and short of it is that instead of having the pressure plate, oh, and we're, Oh, we already... I hope we didn't kill someone just there. I need to remember that we're doing this too. Uh, let's go here and... No, not that. Open. Open. Hopefully someone can do that and that will... That'll be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're still filling our, our magma pools and it's just going downstairs. Okay, that's fine. Instead of having the pressure plate in the menagerie directly trigger the bridges, Does that work? Okay, perfect. Cool. That worked. And then this is gonna melt. Eventually. Instead of having the pressure plate trigger the bridge directly, the pressure plate that the goblin stand the uh, walk over is going to trigger a different mechanism. And then that mechanism will be responsible for triggering the bridges. And the that the that mechanism is called a latch. There we go. Got four in both of these, so we could even open another one of these, just so we don't accidentally overflow. Right? Yeah, except put them all at two or three. And I've never made a latch before. Um, this is this will be a new part for me, but it's on the wiki. It's very simple in principle. Um, well, it'll just be it'll just be a new thing. There we go. Well, this still won't melt. This is still all fine. Um, the long and short of it is that we have. Two, two, okay, imagine a, imagine a tall cylinder. I want to make a, I wish I had like a way to draw. I want like a doodle pad so that I can show you what I'm thinking when we get to situations like this. Um, imagine, imagine a tall, not a tall, 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 but like a couple levels, a pit, a pit. There's a hatch about halfway through and then a pressure plate at the bottom. And then you have some pumps that connect them. That's that's basically all we're doing. So by default, when nothing's going on, you have a little bit of water, but you have it at the top and you have it sitting on top of the hatch. And then the pressure plate on the bottom is dry. When the goblin steps on the pressure plate, it opens the hatch. The water falls onto that other pressure plate. And then that pressure plate triggers the gates in the menagerie. But that water is just going to sit there. That the water. Yeah, the water is just going to sit there because the pumps are off by default. So now you just have water sitting on a pressure plate and that pressure plate is telling the gates to say closed, to say raised. When the goblins are dead and we want to raise our, and we want to lower the gates and so we can get in there again or whatever, whenever we want it to, to not be closed, all we do is turn on the pumps and the pumps pump the water back up onto the hatch. So then the pressure plate is dry so that nothing's on it. The water is just back up there waiting for someone to step on the pressure plate and drop it again. And then, and then that will, that will be what controls the bridges in the menagerie. I'm gonna do that twice, once for each half, so that each half is is dealt with separately. Right? And then and then that's all we have to do. We'll we'll end up having 
three levers all told to control the whole thing. We'll have a lever for pumping out the water in each latch to open one or the other side, and we'll have a lever that controls the divider between them. And that's all we'll need. In, in theory. In my brain, that's all we need. We'll see how it works in practice. Ugh, you, work, it's just, you can do it. You can do it. I know you can. <laughs> um, but right now, we just want it to be dug. Cool. They're, they're digging. Great. Um, and this is all this is all pretty high priority, right? I don't know. It's not. Well, this isn't. The rest of it is. And then, yeah, um... That's the main thing. <laughs> we'll do... So we can make some of these bridges. Uh, let's do construct a bridge. It's going to raise this way. We want to do door then bridge. We don't want to get in the same situation as our other menagerie where we're all controlling by doors only and then having ghosts let things out. That was bad. So we're going to do a door on the inside. Yeah, door on the inside. Like this. We can use we got like a bunch of mica blocks. Yeah, how about... Or mudstone. We have a bunch of mudstone blocks. Uh, MoMA's mandated. Cool. And then same thing down here. Do a bridge that opens this way, right here. Out of mudstone blocks. There we go. Not a ramp. Here. Then we put in some doors, because doors are good. Door. I don't care about... Here. These are just doors. Use closest. Door. Door, door. And then we have to wait for, you know, all this to be dug out for, for the middle bit. Um, we're also going to want... something here to control access to the whole thing. I'm not not use closest. Hold on. Hold on. There. And then I'll also put something in here to control access between our our pens in <laughs> our actual functional menagerie bit. Uh, but we'll wait for them to dig that out. Now, construct bridge this way. Blam. Someone dig this one, please. That's the, that's the only one I care about now. Oh, what else do we got going on? We're making booze. Booze is going up slightly, which is better than going down. Uh, this is all fine. Yeah. That's, I think that's all fine. <laughs> crundles! Oh my god. Apparently there's some crundles downstairs. I have been curious about the populations in our caves. I wonder if there's a bunch of stuff in there. I'm, I'm curious. I want to see. I won't do anything. Control panel. No. Launcher. It's terminate. Will tell us what we have on the map. It like nothing. Okay. Never mind then. 
We have an empty map. All of our slowness is because of dwarves. As it should be. Okay, so now we can make a whole big long bridge like this. Uh, all. There. So that's a little easier to see, right? Now that once, once it all gets dug out, it's all nice and micro -cliny. Very cool. We'll have to smooth this too. We should definitely smooth this. Should definitely smooth it. There we go. Yeah, let's smooth smooth it before we trap a beast in there, so we can, you know. Why not? Why not? Uh, and then there, right? So we can make another another bridge. It was like this right here. Blam. Then, yeah, okay, waiting for carved smooth engrave. I, that's cool that it tells you. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So that's basically good to go. That's basically all we're going to do, aside from linking up these bridges in a fancy way. So we're just waiting for for our latches to be dug someday. They can still get down here, right? Yeah, there's no reason you can't get down here. Um, part of the reason why it's here is because we can get power from here. Uh, so that's so that's convenient. Um, fortunately, this won't consume power continually. Uh, this will only need to be. This will only need to be powered when we're when we're resetting the latch. So when we're when we're powering the pumps to get the water out from the pit with the pressure plate and put it back up onto the hatch, that's the only time this uses power. So it's very very temporary. Um, and even then, you'll only be powering two pumps and a handful of mechanisms at a time, which we can totally spare. Um, that's not a that's not a big power draw. So we'll like this. Sure. Would love someone to dig this, though. Where's our miners? You're all, you're all doing stuff. What you do? How about you do what I tell you? That'd be nice. Our waterfalls are all working. Yeah. Uh, we got our statues basically good to go. What was this? Is this an elk bird? Of an elk bird. Perfect. Zoom in. Zoom in. That's cool. I like it. <laughs> oh, and then we got some more here. Yeah. So now we can now we can do the last one. This is, it's working. It's working. It's working. Probably just need two to three more trips on this one. And it's downstairs somewhere. No, nope, it's. Is someone carrying it again? No, where it's it's right here, but with magma. Pardon? Wanting to get to pit two. Why yeah, why didn't it get all the way there? Something's being funky with my minecarts. Uh and yeah, the dodge trap clearly has some uh some Missing minecarts. Someone's supposedly on their way here. This is fine, right? Yeah, it's all twos and threes. Okay, so now you are gonna move it to a stockpile. God. <laughs> Why? 
Why? I don't know what I broke. Maybe, maybe, like, removing and adding stops like this is just not something it wants to do. Maybe I need, like, re like remove the entire route at once. So you, okay, so then it got dumped. Now we're all at threes. So yeah, we need, you know, one, two, three, four, and then it'll be, I don't know, if we get two more trips, two more trips and it'll all be at four, and then that'll be good. That's all you gotta do. And then we can get rid of these levers. And then we'll have space for four more magma shops, just like that. give it a push okay in theory it will it'll work but you know okay so we are canceling steel battle axes because we need steel are we making steel we should be making steel no work orders Needing flux. Well, I told them to mine flux. Maybe that's what's going on. We have some flux. Chalk is a flux. Um, I did tell them to come down here and start... Mining? Yeah. Here's, here's where they are. <laughs> I made this all priority one, didn't I? That was smart of me. Let's make this all twos. But we have... There is some here. They should be able to do some... Some flux for us. Yeah, you should be grabbing it. No, you're just also here. These, these people are grabbing. Okay, good. So. Yes, yeah, so you need those rocks for steel. Hooray. We're working on it. But now, okay, now they're digging, now they're digging here. Cool. So then this is going to be where the pressure plate goes. This is like, this is the bottom. And then we'll have pump stacks. Like a pump here, a pump here, and then a pump here, and a pump here. And then up here is where uh, we will fill the pit initially, and then this is where power comes in. Yeah, cool. Cool. And then they block another build job. Yes. May block another build job. Okay. Although, <laughs> I'll work on it. How about here? D did the minecart make it? It did. It's downstairs and it's full. So, in theory, someone's gonna come up and push it to here. If you get all weird about it, I don't know what to do. Oh, but look! Yeah, okay. They found the flux. Everyone is here making steel at our magma smelters. Honestly, magma forges is what makes me feel like we have an actual dwarf fortress. Circumventing all the need for using all that fuel because we have magma in the ground, that's the dwarfiest thing about this game to me. So I'm glad we could get that working 25 years into this fortress. <laughs> okay. Steel is canceling, we know why. The wall is canceling because whatever. Trundles are fighting. Uh, we are making booze. Look, 1100 booze. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, and we didn't trade. <laughs> Damn. Okay. My bad. These walls. You all just... 
There you go. You, you're fine. <laughs> you're not blocking anything. Okay. I want this to be done. Why did you, you did all these half done jobs. The cat's moving my, my microphone. So we're going to want I'm going to remove the ramp. And then you know once we're done building stuff there's going to be walls here so that this is just a a pit. Uh, but we have to put stuff in there first. Okay, so the one got made, so now we just do whatever and then these are these are mudstone. All our miners on on break now. Sleeping, plant seeds, fine. Whatever. Go take a nap. And then magma's moving, in theory. Uh, yeah, it's on its way. And it's using the, the track. So I think working that time. It breaks like every other trip. That's what I'm confused about. Uh, we went through most of our porcelain statues. I mean, we could we couldn't cross the last three. I think we do have like we have the spaces in our dining hall left. Thought I saw a couple more. What are you? Or forgotten beast. There's still a couple a couple statues still just get cubes. <laughs> yeah, forgotten beast statues are just cubes. Yep. Are you of a moon snail? A statue of moon snails. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what a moon snail is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we're brewing whip vines, yeah. You can brew whip vines all day long. I want to meet a moon snail, I know, right? A big marine snail? Cool. I don't know... No one here has seen a moon snail. <laughs> we are in... A very landlocked tundra. Shell's like the size of a tennis ball. Wow. Neat. Okay. So yeah, one more trip. One more trip and this pool is fine. And then you guide it to there. And then you push. Come back. Come back. Someone. Someone push. There, you? Yes, push, thank you. Okay. What are you all doing in... Are we hauling logs? Where are we hauling logs? Anyway. Um, yeah, okay. So this all got... Look, it's, it's all smooth now. Perfect. <laughs> it's so good. The fact that it's all, like, almost all one color is very cool too. So you can see how this is like a serpentine when this is raised, right? But then it's like just all open when it's not. That's the idea here. So I do want to link this one, this one, and this, this one to normal lever situations. Let's go to our normal level lever situation room. The situation room. This is the situation room. <laughs> There's a situation. Pull a lever. Okay, so here, these three. So we'll do. And then. E. 
divider. And then Azure Dabo entrance. And then we have a menagerie feast entrance. That's what those are. Hope you don't get a gremlin infestation. That'd be bad. So, or some particularly mischievous ghosts. We've had some mischievous ghosts. I'm good with less mischievous ghosts. Um, so I think like one above two. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to link divider to here. This one links to here. And then this one links to here. And then this is our, you know, the way through. So we'll put a hatch here, just like all the others. Um, I don't care. And then, yeah, look, all the garbage is taken care of. There's no garbage on the surface, again. The system works. Aside from the part where goblins can get inside, apparently, but we're, we'll figure that out. Why are you, are sweet pods what I told you to do? Wait, whatever. Whatever. That's fine. I mean, our our whip vines. Like that's just like we're already up, back up to twelve hundred. Ridiculous. Um, should I make some like I can make like bronze. I can make some bronze uh, mine carts. Would that be good. We can we can make stuff out of bronze without really worrying about it. it doesn't really consume anything anymore bronze uh minecarts just make maybe make me a batch of 10 bronze minecarts that will be excellent um i also want to i kind of want to get these rocks out of here <laughs> uh still waiting on the links to be done How's our, how's our junk stone? Yeah, okay. This is rock salt. This is mudstone. Let's... We've been out of rock salt for a little bit. Let's call this microcline. So instead of rock salt, we enable microcline. And then some will end up there. Cassiterite. That's going to be the thing that we're short on for doing more bronze stuff. Copper is going to be... We have so much tetrahedrite. Copper is going to be easy. Copper for days. Uh, we can also, now that we have magma, we can come in here and start melting all of our goblin gear. And that's just going to be free, essentially. All this iron, all these worn iron helms, just, just melt it. Just melt it. Copper, lots of copper stuff. Um, so we'll we'll make a pass through there and, and melt a bunch of stuff. We have a bunch of we have a bunch of goblin weapons too. Cow. And this is just all ammo. Cool. Cool. Oh, and like the arrows? We like no one here uses arrows. We just melt all the arrows. Look at all that copper. Holy cow. We'll we'll work on that. Okay, so now that's basically basically good to go, aside from needing to link to some stuff. 
which is here, which is done. Are you all done? Are you all done? You're all done digging. I want to remove some of these ramps, of course. You go away. Both of you go away. Yeah, we'll get rid of all these ramps. Those are down below, okay. Yeah, perfect, okay. So mechanisms go here. And then, yeah, and these will be sitting directly above our pump. So we'll go like this, and then like this, and then like this, and then like this. And then we have gear assemblies go like this. Then how was so we get a pump here? Momas, oh Momas wanted us to make something. A figurine, okay. You're you'll get a figurine, it's fine. Uh okay, so we want a pressure plate to trap, to trap. Pressure plate. Water does trigger. Water of any depth triggers. That's what we want. Any water on these pressure plates will trigger it. Need to go, I feel like I need to go, I need to look at the schematic again. <laughs> It is a little tricky. Stop. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. So we have bottom with the pressure plates. Here we will have a pump. We could even, we can make the pump now. Machine pump. This will pump to the north. And these don't need to be magma safe or anything. I've I should have I made some wooden wooden corkscrews and stuff. Uh north. Just want to make sure I'm seeing some rock salt blocks. Uh a high wood corkscrew and a high wood pipe section. Neat. And then same thing here. Marble. Wood. Wood. So then those will pump from where the, the pressure plate is to right here. And then the other pump will pump from here. To here. Yeah, okay. So then this is where the hatch goes. Just, they're just normal hatches. And we don't care about material here. And we'll need to hook that up before we make this second pump because we need to channel out this tile to transmit power to the pump beneath. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So now these get linked to our bridges. Uh, so let's come up here. So this is going to be linked to both of the bridges on this side. So we're going to link to here and link to here. And then, and then we need to go back. I don't know what the closest uh, thing is. Here. And then this one does the other side. Link to here. Link to here.
on the pressure plates. We need to put pressure plates in here. That's right. Uh, it's a trap. Pressure plate. These are triggered by creatures of all sizes, I guess. Yeah. Um, goblins is the main thing. Goblins are in here somewhere. Yeah, whatever. Um, creatures trigger, but citizens do not. That's that's also important. But even then, they'll just get stuck in here. The thing where they, it actually becomes dangerous, that's going to be manually controlled. So that's fine. So it resets. It's going to go here because they can they can they can round to this corner and not not go here, right? So it's so this is the first tile that they have to occupy. So that goes there. And then and then same thing, this one goes here. And then those get linked to the hatches. <laughs> And they're moving the microcline. Okay, great. Great, great, great. At least I assume that's what you're doing. Bathroom. Did my music stop? Did we reach the we reached the end of the playlist once again? <laughs> cool. Already, so then those will get made, and we can come back down here. Pressure plates got made, so then pressure plates get linked to these hatches. Um, and then we want to hook up these mechanisms to levers as well because those are that's our reset so menagerie divider uh this is menagerie reset left running out of levers again and reset right. Okay, so now what are we it's just it's just down from here. Okay. So menagerie reset right links to that. Menagerie reset left. Whoops, no, that's not not what I meant. Links to that. Okay, so now we need to link the hatches. Plane. And they, these got done. Okay, so uh, go down here. Uh, which one did I click on? It's important to know which one's which. Uh, let's do menagerie right. So menagerie left links to this hatch. The menagerie right links to this hatch. This is a little intricate, isn't it? <laughs> this is why I wanted to do this. Because it's it's neat. I think it's cool. This is a thing. Uh, one more thing I haven't done before. And there's that. Um, and these are done, right? They've been linked to their bridges. Good. So now, now they just get walls.
So now they're just they're just pits with pressure plates at the bottom that get triggered by water. And those are being done. Okay. We've struck lapis. We're gonna strike all sorts of things in here. Plenty of microcline. Basically, I told him just <laughs> not this whole level. Holy cow. Uh, we probably have some more critters to geld. Uh, maybe not so much. You know, we, I mean, we do want some breedable pairs of alpacas and llamas, but maybe not that many. I think we have plenty. Baby boar is fine. Horse. A cat. Well, you, yeah. Just geld all the things. I don't need another stockpile full of llama brains. We have already have too many. <laughs> and we're saving. Okay. And the the game continues progressing at a pretty nice, a pretty nice clip. I think we're definitely not hitting 50 frames a second like we have been previously, but. We're not that slow either. Uh, so yeah, what's everyone? Anyone have plans for the weekend? Anyone doing something fun? I'm not. <laughs> I'm probably staying inside. Look, our garbage is all empty. Our shops are empty. Look at all this. They're they're just taking care of it. It's all perfect. It's all perfect, except for this. That we'll need to still need to address that. That's fine. Visiting old friend for a chill stag hen do. Neat. Very cool. The crusher of phrases. Neat. Um, all right. Oh, and I need to not forget about this. We got one more than we needed in here, but that's fine. That's fine. We didn't overflow. I just need to not forget. Um, so we're down at the magma station now. And they haven't started bringing it up yet. So I want to get it. I want to get this going. Now? I mean, I can... I can just remove the departure condition. How about that? We'll just do that. So hold on. Hold your horses. Um, we will smooth all of this. We will disassemble the track stop. And then we re-engrave. Go like this. And then we build a track stop. Which dumps this way. Out of something. And then and then this is fine. And now we can now we can just make more magma smelters. Excellent. Furnace, that's right. All these others are mica out of mica blocks. So I'm going to continue that theme. Yeah, I'm just going to make eight smelters. Might not be our final, the final balance of things, but I mean. Smelters. Smelters good. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's so good. I'm, I'm starting to become happy with this. This took a little bit more doing than I thought it would, but it is indeed working.
there. Okay, so now we can come and do here. And we add a stop right here. This is pit four. Departure condition is to guide south always. And then we just need to re-add this, right? This just guide. Uh, it starts going east down there. And yeah, guide east immediately always. I guess when full, because I we want it to be full down there. That's all I gotta do. Yeah, look at all this. Look at it all. Did we end up making all that steel stuff? Yeah, okay, cool. So now we should check our squats and see what their gear looks like. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of steel here. Um, inky tightnesses, that's one of our new ones. You're a new a new competent mace dwarf, but you're still rusty. Interesting. So you're still working off. Your skill rust. That's fine. You'll you'll get through it. What do you got? You are. You got a lot of copper stuff here. Your backpack just has two lungs. Okay. <laughs> um. On oh, see, they're gonna take like leather high boots instead of steel high boots. Let's make a batch of high boots. This whole level is engraved? Oh my goodness. My goodness. We're dyeing all of our stuff still. Spinning more thread still. Oh, there's <laughs> the one tile over here that didn't get smooth. Two tiles, I guess I should say. Um, and then what? Uh, did our things get linked? So you... You're linked to there, you're linked to there. So that's all good. So then we want to come down to here. These are... These are operated by mechanisms. So now... Now we channel this one. Feels wrong, but it's what we're gonna do. We're gonna channel those two spots and then build pumps right here. And they will get they will receive their power from above. I actually want to turn these off right now. They're gonna be they're gonna be their default state is off. Now we turn on when we're trying to open things. There's one. And there's two. Perfect. Okay. So we make screw pump that pumps south. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, dwarves are here. I'll try not to forget about them. Uh, so do marble. Oak. Sure. Power cap. Mesh. There. And then that's it? What am I forgetting? Oh, we have to actually put the water in. <laughs> that's important. Um, so we're going to manually fill these. So now we have we have a little pit. Once the I guess once the once the pumps are made, that will complete the fourth wall of our little water reservoir, our one tile reservoir. So then we're just going to manually fill from above. We do that by making a 
pond zone. I guess I want I want them to be separate zones. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it matters. Um, designate this zone as the top of a pond. The citizens will bring buckets of water if the pond below isn't filled. So yes, that's how we're gonna do that. But I want to wait for these to be made as they're important, and then this is all off, right? Uh, dwarves. Hi, dwarves. There's much to share, I'm sure. And then I want you to bring... Stones? Just do these. Oh, this, I love this crown thing, but it is just a little bit too heavy to be wearing constantly. I missed the crown at the start. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not that easy to see, oddly enough. I just don't... I don't have that much light in here, all told. You think that's heavy? I've seen dwarves do a full day's mining with three crowns on. It's true. We had a we had a kid at some point who had a stack. Like a whole, a whole stack. Uh, also, hi. Uh, a waiting on things. Oh, I'm excited to try this. I hope we get some goblins. I hope we get some goblins. This is all fine now. Great. Okay. They did. They brought me some full lignite. Very nice. Not a ton, but I'll buy what they have. Some ropes. Cool. Not wood. I didn't ask for wood this time. And a bunch of instruments. Buckets. Weapons. I didn't ask for most of this. We're fine on food. We're fine on... Pigtail thread. Yeah, we're fine on thread. We're fine on all the- we're fine. We're fine. Ooh, except for this. I do- I want the books. Definitely want the books. Uh, and we can take- yeah, that's some cheap parchment too. Might as well. So, uh, we will trade... Do I trade the jugs? See, now I don't know if this jug has honey or royal jelly. So I want to trade the royal jelly, but not the honey. There's, like, not a good way to separate those. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. Uh, those can go, those not. Uh, jugs, jug, jug, jug. These, those are all good. Leave, leave those. Those are good ones. And that's all that they want. They're gonna get more. Uh, leave the empty jug for sure. And get rid of that. That's plenty, right? That's plenty. Considering we're barely asking for anything. Trade. No trader needed. Uh, you can see people fighting llamas for gelding going on.
flowering some things. Things are going. Uh, need whip vine seeds, that's fine. Back up to 1300 drink. Very good. We like immediately make way more whip, whip vines than we need. Um, I'll get rid of the repeat drop. How about that? Since since we're good now, um, I want to come into our. So we have a fruit and drink job. Fifteen hundred. It's like two thousand. And then where's our mead? Mead is down here. And this is just doing all the mead we can make. As long as we have, you know, stuff. So that's good. That's good. That's what I want. So that means all those jugs probably are uh, royal jelly. Okay. Uh, did our pumps get made? Yes. Pumps have been made. Uh, yeah. Total power needed 27. So yeah, it's just gonna take an additional 27 power to turn to to do this. And we have uh, whatever that is, like 50, 40? Yeah, 40. So that's fine. Um, we probably won't be able to reset and do the goblin blender at the same time, but that's also fine. Uh, but now we come into our pond zone and designate this as a pond. And then same thing with this one. And I think we have buckets. We'll see if... I don't manually fill ponds very often either, so we'll see how this works. Uh, we have a well. In theory, they can go fill a bucket at the well. Um, well, we should have some buckets laying around. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's just some, there's some buckets. Okay. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Though they're possessed. So there's. Oh, it doesn't. Weird. Doesn't look like it, but there is a water there. One there and one there. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll fill this up to seven, even though you don't technically need all of that, but that'll help things not evaporate and be weird. And then once they're done filling this, we'll put a we'll put a floor here so that no one falls in or anything. And then and then we're good. We just need to move a monster. We just need to load the menagerie. Yeah, cool. Um, how are we on books? Are you writing me a bunch of books? We're at 62 books. It's more than we had. Okay. Um, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick while they fill those ponds. Because that won't take long. Oh, we should also check. I need to make sure I'm not... Or no, this has nothing in it. Hmm... That's not what I expected. Maybe I just do always? Because it's, it's here. Yeah, guide east. Always. Let's see if someone's on their way. Someone's on their way. Okay. So they're working on it. Um, so they'll work on filling that pit, and they will work on filling these pits. And I will be right back.
Then six and six. Wow. Almost there. Welcome back. Thank you. And is that all we have left? We have everything hooked up. They're all part of the same machine. Those are all made. Linked. Yeah. I think I think we're good. One, one you know, one more bucket load. And has our has our other thing resumed operating? It has. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Where are you? Final bucket load. They go up to seven, right? They don't just stop at six. Steel hasn't been going yet. Are they waiting on steel? No. I uh, started building a thing. Cool. Clother has created on a ladlud a llama wool shirt. Excellent. That's kind of cool. My understanding is that artifacts are immune to wear. And that they will just last forever. Still gonna put it in a museum. With the amount of llama wool stuff we've made in this fortress, I guess it's not too surprising that we end up with at least one wool uh, artifact. Does that mean you've become a legendary clother? Who was that? That was... I already, dis already dismissed it. We should... What are you all waiting on? You have flux, right? You have flux. Shouldn't be waiting on flux. Slowly engraving. Oh, here's where those other statues were. Here you are. They were made by. Oh, who was it made by? Does it not say? Say who made it? I thought it did. Menaces with spikes of llama wool and steel. Excellent. Excellent. Um, okay, so how's how's our pit? The six and six. Is that that might be as deep as they go? Which is plenty, honestly. Let's, let's just call it there. Uh, so we just want to remove these pit zones. So we don't want them continually filling stuff. And then for safety, we're going to put in a floor. We could just like put in a hatch, but you know, whatever. And then in theory, we're good. We have, so we have water on a hatch, right? And the pumps are up. So the hatch is linked to the pressure plate in the menagerie. Goblin walks into the trap, presses the button, the hatch opens and drops the water onto the pressure plate. The water stays here because this pump is off. The water just stays here and holds the button down until we manually turn the pumps on and then the pumps pump the water back up to here. And it just, and then it resets. It just waits for the, the, the other pressure plate to be pushed again to repeat the whole thing. That's it. 
That's the that's the trap. That's the whole thing. That's wow. That was that was simple, wasn't it? Oh, if this works, I'm gonna be very proud. If this works, I'm gonna be very happy. Um, I might even just dump these handful just to get them out of here, and then we can move. We don't need more microcline. We're, we're fine on microcline. I think we have a dump zone uh, down by our, our incinerator chute. Yes, okay. So they'll just get put there and they'll be taken out with the garbage. And then once that's clear, We'll move a beast into our menagerie. Which beast do we want to do? Which one do we want to try first? We have four beasts. We have four beasts, and we have one that we're going to move into our menage our, our, our trap. We have... Esnust? Was this the crab? Uh, bad, bad, bad description. Enormous hairy crab. This one's a flying slug. This one's a... a bear. An eyeless tapir, and then a blob of flame. Do you want a crab? A hairy crab, flying slug, eyeless tapir, flaming blob. Those are the four options. I've never really done a poll either. I'm not good at polls. Of course, there's only two people here, so I'm not going to make a poll, but... If you have, if you wanted to see one of these other than the others, let me know. I'm kind of leaning towards the flame blob. Because, because fire, fire's cool, right? You're all going to take forever to take the stone down there because you're all just hauling it without a wheelbarrow. And that's totally fine. I don't care. We're going to get it out of here. One more. <laughs> Who's coming to get the last one? I'm also seeing quite a few copper helms amongst our, our military. Yeah, what? Iron helm? Yeah. Keeping an eye. Oh, well, we did that. Okay, so let's do steel helm. Let's do 10 of those. Cool. Hey, look! Speak of the devil. Forgotten beast Genlath has come. That's a good name. An enormous six-legged toad with lidless eyes. Hypno toad. It is slavering. Eyes glow chartreuse. Its violet skin is waxy, but where its poison is bite. All hail Hypno toad. Uh, where are you? You're down here, Genlath. You're all the way down. You're at the bottom of Cave Three. And you're immediately going to fight Aiden, who is an enormous feathers spider. Wow. Oh, and that one has webs. Good luck. Webbers suck. Oh, you won! Holy cow! Hypnotoad beat a Weber. Love these forgotten beasts? I know, right? We might need that one. It's going to be a minute before we can... Uh transport another beast from the depths, but we're getting close. I mean, we've already done, we've done one trip. Once we've filled up this pit, then the whole minecart situation is done. Don't need it no more. So we can turn it back into our beast ways. Uh, I'm just gonna work on my stuff. You're all, you're all making steel. Very good, very good. Where is... Yeah, it's on its way. Okay. I'll have to keep close attention. Uh, we traded with the dwarves, right? Yeah, these are the ones we traded with. Um, okay, so...
Well, so that means... So how do I start this? Um... So that means by default we want the water to be dropped on one side but not the other. We want one side closed but not the other. Did you finish the alien game? Not yet. Um, I, I think we can finish it tomorrow. Plans is to finish it tomorrow. I think... I think we're on the last mission. We're going into the... Uh, we're going into the dig site. I think we're going to end up at a temple. An ancient temple. So. Plans to finish it tomorrow. And then on Thursday, Armored Core comes out. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, but... That means we need to manually trigger one of these. So how do we do that? Uh, this is this is the the part that I wasn't. I didn't get this far in my brain thoughts. Because this is already operated by mechanisms. I don't know that we can just. Works now that like I can't get in there to to hook something else up to it now. Oh, we need to a wall there. That's also a thing. Hmm. So. myself into a corner, haven't I? I can't trigger it on my own. I mean, I could hook the... I could hook the levers up... Or I could hook the bridges up to a different lever. But having it hooked up to multiple things is kind of weird. And we want the beast in there first anyway, right? So... First things first. Let's, let's move a beast. Um, I'm going to close this so that it can't, you know, like, go back down into our fortress, because that would be bad. And then I'm going to close this one even. I'm going to open one of these, and the beast is going to be thinking that it can come down, through, and then up to our surface. So that's closed. Because so I should close everything else. That's closed. That's closed. Not gonna get that far, but just in case. So yeah, closed, closed. Alright. I'm gonna do the flame blob. Let's open this cell. Cross your fingers. Everything should be fine, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna open the door. What was your name, Ugash? Come on, Ugash. I have a new home for you. Other way, dork. Okay. Now I'm just gonna make sure you don't wander into one of these other ones. Only one way forward, Ugash. Although I guess you could go that way. Uh, let's lock this one. <laughs> Not that way. That way was bad. Nope, it's what it wanted to do. 
can't, right? <clears throat> yeah, we're good. It's gonna take a second for it to realize it. There you go. No, come on. This progress is this way. Okay. You have chosen a side. Well, not even really. Let's just lock all four doors. Cool. Now, now you're good. If it pressed a button, though it's trap avoid, it won't actually press pressure plates. Don't think. Just has to check the door. <laughs> it's like, you a door? We're good? Okay. I made a fire and a forgotten beast, but you're a door. So I'm gonna respect you. Okay. So it's caught. It's in here. So now we just want to raise the divider. And we kind of just have to, like, if the beast is on the divider when the lever is pulled, then it won't work. There we go. Okay, so we got lucky there, um, but you can just keep retrying if you need to. So now we're good. Um, so now if we open this side, this is ready to accept some goblins. Now I just, now I just want some goblins. <laughs> See, that won't, that won't do anything, right? I didn't press. We go back down to here. Uh, nothing happened. We still have, we still have our water in here. So yeah. Um. Cause, cause Forgotten Beasts are trap avoid. And what was this? This is our, this is how we fill our waterfalls. We are so crammed in here. But look at this. Does this make sense? This is, this is what was in my head. I hope it works. We will see. Um, I want to close this now. And then this is all this is all just fine. Yeah, that's all fine. And then we can open this one. Okay, I did it. Where are you at? Four? Okay. Oh. Six in there now, and then that would be, yeah, let's go ahead and open another one. No, not that. Oh. All the buttons are blurring together. Making steel. It's all working. Industry is happening. Let me mismatch. Dimple cup spawn, okay, that's fine. Okay. So, as long as we don't get any ghosts... <gasps> you destroyed it! That's why you can't do this. Hmm. Interesting, because so if it weren't for glitches, we are we are technically exploiting here. 
<laughs> if it weren't for glitches, the beast would be able to destroy this door. Because they are they are building destroyers. And uh Whatchama who's it's the the pressure plates are also buildings. I mean, what if we we could just put the pressure plate out here? It would push the pressure plate right before going in. So that would give the, uh, like, a goblin could technically walk up and press the pressure plate and then not go in. But all that would do is close things and we'd manually reopen it. So that wouldn't be the worst. We just need to make, the, the pressure plates can't be inside with the beast. I didn't think of that. Hmm. Hmm. And that still didn't actually trigger it, right? There's still there's still water here. Interesting. Well, that means we will need to relink the hatches to different pressure plates, which means we need to get in there again. Which I think means disassembling these. Okay. Well. Point taken. It's not perfect yet. We'll 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 iterate. <laughs> and then the water just goes everywhere. Yeah. Okay. That'll be. That's fine though. Most of it will end up there. Oh, and then so now it's gonna trigger, right? So now now the bridges are up. Good. We should have. You should. We should fill from the bottom. We want the default to be the bridges are raised, so we should... Pond should be filled from the bottom, but it don't really matter. Um, okay, so in that case, let's go ahead and just make two more pressure plates. Because I want... How am I going to do this? Put it here and here. I should have. Here. We should do. Oh, look, another one. Uga Nagosup Tosnak. Towering, skinless, eight legged panther with webs. <laughs> what? This is in Cave 1. Who got the knives of seizing? is another beast in here, right? Yeah, there it is. Wow. Did they both die? Who got? Forgotten it takes a full force of the impact. Slams into an obstacle. Did they both just die? No, you you're still fine. Okay. Google is fine. Wow. Uh, I was expecting the eight-legged panther to survive a little bit longer than that, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, what we're going to do is like... Like this. And then we'll build a wall... Here. And then we can make the pressure plates in a reasonable place. Uh, trap. Seems like webs are not as effective against other forgotten beasts. True. Yeah, I guess they are. Are they immune to being webbed? I know web spitters are immune to webs. Maybe they're just too beefy. They just don't care. Uh, okay, so creature triggers. Matter and then same thing, creature triggers. And there, oh, and we also need a wall here. And 
and that will make sense. I think this will, I think this is fine. I think this will make sense. Um, and then here, our, our, our one pump is off. You are gonna need to, we're gonna have to put floors here so that we can get to the hatches. It's so silly. We could even, is it better to do it this way? I'll put like locked doors here. Maybe that's what we do. And then that means I, I can put the, the pumps back. Uh, so this pumps south. Uh, tower cap. Finish. So, so intricate. Um, and then our, this is doing fine. We could even, right, there's two threes in there. So we could open this last one. Need to dig the thing, please. Oh well. You just left the, the, the mechanism right there. <laughs> uh, okay, and then how much water ended up actually down here? We have three there and two there, so at least it's not gonna evaporate. So that's good. Where's my miners? They're sleeping. <laughs> uh, oh, I took you off of. You're not. You're. You're a legendary miner who's not a miner no more. That's right. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it that way. Okay, so, so that's all good, right? We can disassemble these. Now we're just waiting for uh, four more trips and then we'll be good. Cool, cool. And then it's coming up. How's how's my squads doing? How's my lads, Momas? Uh, you are you're needing a shield, clearly, and some boots. I just need some boots. See, I have a hard time knowing the difference between you're not equipping steel because. We don't have steel and you're not equipping steel because I didn't get that specific with your equipment. Like you're all wearing steel. Solar war hammer. Is it just our second squad? Yeah, okay. So we're probably all needing No, you have steel shield. Okay, so here, here we go. We need like five of everything. It's probably where we're at. Let's just do, let's do ten of everything, so that we have plenty. Uh, we'll do steel shield, steel greaves, and and then what else was there? 
gauntlets. Step. I'm going to do more Steel High Boots. Even though I think they're probably basically fine and just trying to find them still. And then we should make some more, more spears and axes. Not that. Battle Axe. Let's do five of each of those. And maybe we'll just we'll toss in some helms too. We should be fine on steel breastplates because our mayor asks for breastplates all the time. So I'm going to assume that we're okay on that. Um... What about male shirts? We Are we okay on male shirts? Steel male shirt. Yeah, we might be just fine on steel male shirts. Okay, uh, that'll, that'll keep them busy. And how are we here? I've just got another trip. And you ditched your robe. That's cool. We're getting there. We have flux here. Um, you are. We are one of our long stay citizens, I guess. Tempted to. I'm gonna disassemble these just so that I can relink them properly. And then I'm gonna put some doors. To... This is all, you're so all connected, right? Okay. Okay, and then redo hatches. Sure. Don't matter. And then did this all get done? Cool, that's all good. Might as well smooth and make it look nice. This makes more sense. Putting the pressure plates on the outside makes sense. I'm curious what we would do if we wanted to, like if, if the bug where they can't attack doors gets fixed, this wouldn't work. And I'm, I'm thinking all you would do is swap around the door and the, the gate, but even then, the reason that was being weird last time was because they would just sit on the gate and attack the door, and then you can't raise the gate because it's sitting on the gate. So it probably wouldn't be able to attack hatches from below, right? Yeah. Um, not to my knowledge, that's a good point. At least that's my understanding. Yeah, because they, because that's not a bug. Um, the fact that they can't attack doors is a bug. But they can't attach, attack hatches because they can only, you can only attack something on the same level as you. You can't attack up like that. That's just not a thing that anything can do, as far as I know. So that's not a bug, it's more of a limitation. Um, so you could do a little stair down and back up, yeah. Yeah, so you would do, you would do a bridge here and then a stair, and then a hatch at the top of the stair. 
Or no, you'd still do it the other way around. You 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 want you want the hatch to be the first thing. So you would have a stair here for the hatch, and then a bridge kind of backing it up. And now you you could you could go like up and then down or down and then up. Either way. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd work. I'm gonna stick with my doors for now while they work. Where are you? You're smoothing. Okay, so we want to hook these up to our new pressure plates, or to our new hatches. Um, so this is the left one. It's hooked up to the left one. The right one. Those two. The right one. I feel like it would make the most sense if anything could attack any building, including bridges, but you need a certain strength level to break certain materials. Yeah. I, I do find it a bit funny that that bridges are just invincible. Um, but like, if you... If something can attack bridges, then... Something should attack walls, right? At some point... At some point, things would just be able to attack constructions. And that is... Madness. That, that is... That would be brutal, right? If something could just straight up attack walls. That would, that would be hard to deal with. Um, that is a thing in some games like RimWorld. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. It'd still be brutal. Um, it depends... It, in my mind, it would depend on how long it would take for something to actually get through. Like, if something is sitting there and attacking a wall on the surface, and it takes them, like you know, enough time for you to respond and go out there and attack it before it would reliably get through. That's not too bad, right? Then you have you have something you can do about it. But if a, uh, if a cyclops shows up on the surface and then it's just like, walls, what? Bam, bam, and it's just inside your fortress instantly? Like, that would be kind of brutal. Cool. Operated bomb mechanisms, very good. So now we lock these so that they can be <laughs> watertight. Hilarious. And now we remake our pits. Because these are, these are good. We're good? We're good. We're good. Just put one cage trap on the other side of the wall. <laughs> but it, like... Almost all building destroyers are also trap avoid. At least forgotten beasts are. That combination is really brutal too. Um, like a like trolls aren't trap avoid, right? You can still catch a troll. Like a like the big beasts, like mega beasts. Kind of brutal. Uh, let's do so pit. Except pit. Oh wait, we're saving. It's winter. Do we get goblins in winter? I want goblins. Except I don't want goblins right this moment. I want goblins in like five minutes. Actually, we would be fine, wouldn't we? We could be fine. We're almost fine. What did, what did I do? Okay. <laughs> Pit. Here, except. And then both of these want some water. And not a bunch of water, right? Because this one already has three, this one already has two. So like three or four inside each one. Hey look! It's goblins! Seeking a parlay. Hmm. Can I just... I let them sit there until uh, <laughs> until we're ready. <laughs> One minute, please. 
um, petition, which is to parlay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna not respond, right? Um. I'll get you there. Oh, that, that's what I was gonna do. I want to make sure that our 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 zone includes all the stuff in here, so I'm not gonna kick people out. So yeah, except I'm gonna turn on our civilian alert. Our we have people on the wall here. Are they just gonna immediately start shooting. There's no one out here right now. Why is there no one out here? Guards, where are you? Must be like on a shift change or something. Oh, there's a handful. We're getting some bigger goblin sieges. There we go. Are you gonna... Are you just gonna fire on them? No? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna close this gate for the moment. Because... You don't need to come inside yet. Quite a handful. Quite a handful. There we go. You all can hang out out there in the snow. Uh, okay, so we got one in each. We'll go up to we'll go up to three, and then we'll call it good. Still just one. Hmm. Not leaking or anything, right? Don't think so. Two. Okay. Yes, yes. And then here's three. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that one. That's only two. Yeah, that's probably fine. Cause that's five total. That's fine. Whatever. And then yeah, okay. And then now you have three. Let's call that good. Let's call that good. Uh, and then we'll we'll put our safety floors back in. But in theory, that means our trap is loaded, right? So that means we want to pump the water out of the right side latch. And we do that by... Uh, Menagerie reset right. So we're going to pull this lever. And they're still just, they're just hanging out. Okay. We're going to try this. We're going to, we're, we're doing it live. Now we're going to turn on our right side latch. I guess turn off. We're we're unlatching. We want to see these these mechanisms start turning. Okay, so now we're we're turning. Our pumps are on and it's just immediately empty. Wow. That means we have 5 here. Wow, that was quick. So now we can turn this off uh, by that same this pull it. Thank you. So that we're not continually pumping water out of there. I want to see that. I want to see that it happens. Because if you leave this on, then that will your your gates will like open and close a whole bunch. I bet. Okay. Inactive. Great. Okay, perfect. So now we have five of seven sitting on the hatch. We have zero on one pressure plate. We have three on the other pressure plate. We have these gates are both open now. The doors are open. These doors are open. And then that door is open. So then we're 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 good. So we, we close this one. And we open this one. Curious if they're going to immediately try to come in or if they want a response to the parlay before they actually start 
doing stuff. Uh, let's move all three of our melee squads out here. Yeah, they're gonna try. What happened to your petition? You so excited to see my new amusement park? And our guards aren't shooting on them because they're seeking a parlay? That's really funny. So they're gonna come in in one big lump. Hopefully. The more, the more that come in together for this, the better. Okay, so they're, they're gonna try. The only thing they can do is this. Yeah, watch. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping this works the way that I think it will. They definitely go, don't go at their full speed. So in theory, the pressure plate was just pressed. In theory, the pressure plate was just pressed. Yeah, okay, so this is... You have water, or no, you don't. You were not yet... Right? You were linked to there. Why is that not pressing? Are they... Mm, goblins aren't trap avoid, right? Goblins aren't trap avoid. I checked. They can avoid traps that they know of. But they don't know of this one. We just made this one. Hmm. This isn't terrible, but it's obviously not working. And I won't be able to I won't be able to lock this door anymore. Or no, they don't count as invaders. Do they not trigger traps because they don't count as invaders because because I haven't parlayed with them yet? That would be pretty funny. Because usually I wouldn't be able to do this. Can I... How many, how many of you want to come in? Do you all want to get in? They invoke the sacred right of parlay, right? Stop committing war crimes? I refuse. Yeah, you all just come in here. Just everyone get in here. This is the parlay room. Come in here. I got a big document for you to sign. I'm gonna say that's good. Let's call that good. Are you, you come in, come in or out? Pick whichever your, way you're going. There you go. They're still coming in. I'm gonna let them come in if they want. Cause yeah, they didn't trigger that one. Well, that one's not linked to anything now. But they also like you see it visually. You see it like depress. So they're not triggering any of those things. However, they're still in there. So we're gonna we're gonna let them fight anyway. I mean, uh, our solar surface, our surface is fine. <laughs> the party, there's gonna be a party for the one goblin that came through. There we go. Enjoy. Oh, oh, he blew up the bridge too. How did that happen? Whoa. <laughs> oh, he melted it. He just straight up melted this because it wasn't a it wasn't a fireproof bridge. Hilarious. Okay, the flying crossbow bolt strikes the beast. Well, damn. Holy cow! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, y'all want to come out now? They're still they're still trying to petition. Okay, well, filter out one by one. That's cool, too. Oh, 
what are you what are you doing now? You can't go backwards. I mean, someone got incinerated. That wasn't nothing. We'll just have to find a tougher beast. Also use magma save stuff if we're gonna do fire beasts? I didn't even think of that. I guess you do have to beast proof your menagerie. Just deny. Now they're sieging. Oh, they're just hanging out here. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, they just don't get treated as enemies while there's uh, while there's like a, a pending parlay. TIL. Yeah, the sacred right of of parlay. Let's open this back up. Um, and then is are you the only one left? Now there's one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Confirm. Still counts as a successful siege. Menagerie is not perfect yet. However, we have a kind of proof of concept. Kind of. The functional part didn't work yet. Okay. So that's all the that's all the goblins, right? Oh, we also need to deal with all of our cage junk. Maybe once our our new squads are nicely kitted out, I'll. Make him fight some birds. It's just all this junk out here now. Wow. Yeah, they were just out here hanging out. Then I said, uh, no parlay, and then they all red wedding it. Um, okay, and then there's gonna be stuff everywhere now. Okay. Okay, so we'll disassemble this one, because clearly that's not gonna work for us. Um, one side of this being closed is good. We'll want to rebuild this bridge, obviously. And I'm gonna <laughs> do it out of magma safe stuff. My god. Not wood. We got a bunch of orthoclase, right? Or mica? Mica blocks. There we go. Then, but then our like our our latches are all fine, right? They're they're both turned off. We have water. All right, we still have a little bit of water here. That's fine because that's just gonna merge and turn into five. The, the the one is the one having water and the one not having water. That's the main thing. So that's all fine. Uh, yeah, so Deerlu. I think Deerlu's up to bat next. Oh, did, am I, am I forgetting, am I forgetting? Okay, ooh, just one more, just one more. 
Where are you at? You're on your way. I'm gonna keep an eye on this to make sure we don't do more than we need to. Everyone's smelting, look at this. What is that? Blam! Fours. Perfect. Now we can just straight up remove the entire route. Decommissioned. You're gonna finish your job anyway, but then yeah, you're good. We're good. I'm just gonna smooth out all of this. And then yeah. And then we build a uh, a wall. I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna open this again. I'm just gonna build a straight up wall here. remove those two and then what let's do like do eight, eight smelters four forges I mean, and then a, a kiln and a, a glass thing not that we have that much stuff Just do four more smelters. I think once we get to like the point of melting stuff, we're gonna want some capacity. Um, furnace smelter. And we'll make them all the same color. We got some gear to make. You hauling a helm. <laughs> like, a goblin definitely died in here. It was not for nothing. High effort for killing one goblin, but it still died. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move Dear Lou Indy here. He's gonna move in through here, but then we're gonna want to trap him on this side specifically. Right? It doesn't matter that much. I would prefer to have him on this side. That was just because we put on our alert, I bet. <laughs> Dwarven child taken by Fey Mood. Bim, what do you have for us? Where'd you go? As the aspect of one fae. What are you claiming? Did you already claim something? Craftdorf. Okay. Don't use the lignite for craftdorf things. Stop it. Stop it. Child, those are important. Llama leather. You can have a llama, you can have all the llama leather you want. <laughs> all that junk. Some gems. Cool. You're hauling. So yeah, this is all empty already. Just waiting for that to be finished. What was that?
Have we started? Not yet. Steel! You stole my steel! So we're still good on die. Probably still got plenty of things to die. So we still have... There's still... A, oh, look at all this wool! We have so much wool. We have these two farmer shops that are working on it. Because you're just spinning forever. Yeah. Um, and then here, still waiting on that. But we can do two more forges. you to disassemble the track stop, please. Hmm. It looks so simple. It's just four little squares of magma, and yet it took four streams to complete and is amazingly useful. It looks so much easier and less useful than it actually is. But this is gonna make this is gonna propel us into the future. Still blocked. There's just a there's just a rock there. goes. Cool. Our magma shops have been built. That means we can go... Let's like... We can just melt stuff. All of our goblinite. All of these broken copper and iron things. Like a large iron boot? Like who's... No one here is large, at least not in our military. Iron, copper. Like large bronze stuff? Who brought that? I mean, might as well. I mean, if I'm gonna, if I want anyone human in my military, I'm gonna make them steal stuff anyway. So I might as well. Yeah, all this large iron stuff. I wonder where that came from. <laughs> all this, all the leather stuff. Um, but I'm even gonna add in a melt job here. Melt a metal object. And this is gonna go as long as you have melt designated objects. You will melt the objects. Because that just happens in a smelter. Uh, Bim has created uh, a name. Our Taran Sacrith Ostrith Ostrithicut. A lignite figurine of Onel. She offers it to the faithful ore. Okay. Cool. Our mayor probably is happy about that. Fancy figurine. Come on. There you go. Figurine. Uh, do we, what was it? It was lignite. There you are. Cool. And the, now it's all safe. No one can fall into the magma. The beast ways are closed. This is just all good to go. And then all of the all of the ore stays here. All the bars are up here. Maybe that's a little far. 
We could move that down here, even. We used a bunch of this Kalanite. Let's just do this. Because we still have some there. And we're not making more now anyway. We should theoretically have, like, a kiln? But do I even care? Now that I've made my statues, do I care? about the clay ones, at least? We should make some more platinum ones for the dining hall. How much are... Uh, I think we went through all of our bars of platinum. A bunch of silver. We have one platinum bar. And we have soap. Okay, good. Um, but do we have ore? For platinum? Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. It's stones, right? Stones, not rocks. Native, no. Flat. Platinum nuggets. We have a little bit. We have a very small amount of platinum. We could do silver stuff all day long, though, right? Because we have we have some silver bars, but we also have. I mean, tetrahedrite on its own, right, is is mostly copper, but also silver. We have one silver nugget. Galena is also silver. Why is there forbidden stuff in here? Oh, it's in there, of course. Okay, there's our bridge. Come back down to our menagerie divider. And... This needs a magma safe mechanism. Which a diorite is not. How do I... I wish you could pick like you used to. I make like an iron mechanism. I mean, is fire safe something different? Fire safe materials, those not damaged by fire. Glass, most metal, most stone. Lies. Nether cap is the only wood that can withstand, yes. Yeah, I think we're going to go with something magma safe. And we should have a bunch of... Like, we have a bunch of mica. I just make some... Someone make me... There's a cat right there. Rock mechanism... We'll do these out of mica. Because we have mica. Cat. I wish I could... I want, like, a mobile cat cam. So that I can just, like, poke and, and show you what she looks like. She's so cute. She is so cute. She's completely passed out, too. We still have ballista parts. Or waterfalls! No, not the waterfalls! Definitely need to keep an eye on those. Everything will devolve into madness the instant we don't have waterfalls going.
and their feet get all twitchy. Okay, cool. We have waterfalls again. We're still engraving. Where's it? What's our engravers up to? Hi, Master Engravers. Very cool. Very, very cool. And our squads. How's our squads doing? There's like, like junk in here. Clearly, some goblins died in here. We're probably good on... We might be good on whip vines now. It's like this whole... Yeah. And we're brewing. So we'll have to puzzle box right there. Okay. It's looking a little fuller. Cool. Now why aren't people doing stuff here? You have you have steel things to make. Still needing flux. Okay. I mean we have some flux, but not not much, I guess. Now that we have magma, we are going to immediately be needing flux and lignite to keep the train moving. Is it diorite? Where were we? We were mining on a whole layer here, yeah? It'll all, it all turn out to be microclimb. Oh well, Elena. You awake now? Oh hi. Must immediately come here. Come here. Anywhere else we were finding marble. Okay. Thought we had another deposit. Gabru, Michael Klein. Hmm. We have so much Michael Klein. It's all Michael Klein. Oh, do I want to do I want to move a beast again? I haven't or no, I haven't I haven't done this yet. Okay. Well, we made some mica mechanisms. Let's see if we get lucky here. Menagerie divider. Link. Let's see. I got to like 
forbid all of them again? They them, yes. Me and my creatures. Um, where's, where's a mechanic? Here's a mechanic. Yes, we're making mechanisms. Uh, yeah, okay. So there's some in here. Let's just, let's just forbid all of those. It's so silly. You used to be able to choose. And if you can now, I don't know how. The rest of these are mica. Right? Okay, so that should be fine. And then let's come in here. Menagerie divider. Link. Mica at the target. Perfect. That's all I care about. Cool. And then I can just forbid all the, the mechanisms again. Where were we? Here. Nope, that's the wrong button. Just forbid your furniture stockpile. That's fine, right? Hello, hello, hello. This creature has been sleeping on my desk all day and just now woke up. Uh, but we're just wanting to... we're wanting this to be linked and then we'll move another beast in. And then we'll be reset for the next wave of goblins. Because these are linked, right? These got linked. These got linked. Everything in the... The latches are all set. There's some water there. There's a little bit of water there. This one's empty. That one's full. Yeah. I think we succeeded on a couple of projects today. I guess we'll see if this actually ends up being successful. We have proof of concept, I think. We've made a whole bunch of steel stuff. In theory, our squads are getting... Yeah, look, all that steel got made. In theory, we have some kitted out squads here. We're still needing... Greaves and gauntlets. And breastplates, really? shields. Hmm. I feel like they haven't grabbed the stuff that I've made. Yeah, see, look, there's... Guys, we have... We'll grab some stuff. This... Did this not happen? Why did this not happen? What... Oh, cause I was it because I forbid the things on accident. Goodness. Okay, let's try this again. We'll lock the not mica ones. Then, same thing, again. Let's go back to our divider. Link with Micah to here. Now. No. You can get in there. I guess it doesn't show up there, it shows up here. Okay, okay, so they're, they're working on it. Um, and then we will 
Unforbid. My goodness. And your your Lincoln, yeah, perfect, perfect, good, 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 good. No, could probably also move some beasts <laughs> if we wanted to. Now that this is all, yeah, this all got closed off. Then, oh, we'll want to close this off for sure. Um. And then where else? We want to go down to here, that's closed. Here, that's fine. Here, we want to close this one. Shouldn't be anyone in there. There's nothing to do in there now. That'll close. And then this will just be fine. We'll be, we'll be good. We'll be good. Cool. And then you're done. Perfect. So now I think our menagerie is repaired. Uh, let's. Let's load it. Let's load. Let's load the cage. I'm thinking we're going to do Deerloo next. I think we're going to give Deerloo a chance. Um, and then... Yeah, and then what? We just open this one? Or we want to... We want to close... We want to make sure it can't get out this way. That's the one to be careful of. And then we open this. And unlock this. Come on, dear Lou, I have a new home for you. Perfect. So cooperative. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so now we want to pull this. I do want to get a little bit lucky with what side it ends up on. I would prefer it to be on the right hand side. Well, not that side. Well, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Come on. Oh, so now it's down. So now... Just, just wander over that way. Yeah, stay, stay there. No. Oh, uh, duh. That side. That side's fine. Oh, come on. Now it's going to be on it. Ugh. It was probably on it when it triggered. He wants out. <laughs> it's going to be on it again. Mm? No. No. See, this is like... This is not deterministically perfect, but we can sit here and keep retrying. There's no penalty for this not working perfectly each time. As long as you're not in a hurry. I mean, you can be on that side. I just really don't want to be relying on just the doors. Because th these gates are already closed. Give it one more try. One more shot.
No? You'd think it would be a 50-50 chance. I guess a 50-50 chance when it's not on the middle. Alright, dear Lou. I hope you're this rambunctious when the goblins show up. No. It should have like a latch too, ideally, but you know, whatever. For real? That was really close. Can you send me a headshot of Jezebel at some point? Sure. Maybe when she's awake. Someone pull? No? Now move. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. We got lucky the first couple times, I guess. There we go. Okay, fine, whatever. You can be on that side. It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and reset the other side then, so we'll just be ready for goblins. Uh, so let me go down here, and we go to... Menagerie reset left. And we'll go down here, make sure it works. That turned on. This has got five water in it now. This is dry. Momas wants a breastplate or something. So yeah, so we got five there, we got five there. We're perfect. Then we just come back up here and we pull that again. Again, so that it's turned off. And we're good. Yeah, okay. So now goblins can come in through here, push the button, and that will trigger the gates. And then we can manually lower the thing and let them fight. I think we're good. I think we're good. We'll see if it works next time. We'll see what it throws at me next, but in principle, that is ready to go. You want a figurine, whatever. Um, I kind of want to tick over into spring and see if we get some more goblins, uh, since that's going to happen any minute now. Uh, but in the meantime... We have some beasts in the caves that we now have vacancies for. We can have like, this is like our active fight chamber and this is like the on deck. This is our deck. Uh, let's say so our creatures, there's like, <laughs> look at this. So we Abaku is our web maker. We have Anan and Durlu and Esnist. I got my first beast on this embark and it's made of steel. Oh god. Uh, good luck. Uh, we have Genlath, Issa, Nagak, and Ubel. Uh, so let's see. Genlath. This is cave, bottom of cave three. You are our six legged toad. We definitely want this. I definitely want this one. Oh, did I mention I'm playing as humans and can't make steel? No, you did not. That's amazing. Um, 
good luck. Find some artifacts. Um, so Genlath is our right. You are your hypnotoad. We'll see what a quarter of repeating iron spike traps can do to steel. It'll work eventually. Um, yeah, the upright spike traps will work. The normal, like a weapon trap, won't, but the the spikes will. Uh, and Lath Hypnotoad and Isa. Isa is a hairy slug. This is a second hairy slug. Neat. And then Nagak is in cave one, or no, cave two. And this is a theropod. Large mandibles, undulates rhythmically, pink feathers, don't yada yada. Because we could also look at like who has actually killed. This one has killed another forgotten beast. That's probably a good indicator of how well they'll do. Um, let's come down to here. I think we're gonna open up our beast ways for our Hypnotoad, for Genlath. I'm gonna double check that I have it all closed. So this is, so that's closed. And this should all be fine. The rocks in here are forbidden. Right, and then we come up to the top of Cave 3, because of Ridiculous. Currently closed. And it comes up to Cave 2. Currently closed. And then it comes up uh, over here. Just below cave one. This is closed. This is closed. And then it comes up through here. That's all closed. Up through here. That's closed. And up through here. Up through here. So we need to open this one. Oh, this makes me nervous every time. And then we'll need to open this. We'll clo close this one for sure. And then open this one. So we want it to come, it's gonna come up, and then it's gonna want to go through, and then down and around, and then this goes up to the surface. We want this one open. Okay, then we'll just like open these. I think that's all we're doing. Um, so then I want to go down, I want to go back down. And I want to open this door. And I want to watch and make sure that nothing terrible happens. We might have to open up the surface gate for it to actually want to do anything. We typically do. Just always want to make sure that no one gets any smart ideas and tries to go in. Because that's closed. And then, yeah. There's nothing... There's nothing in there that they could want, but that's not forbidden, at least. All right, the way is open, Hypnotoad. Do you want to reach the surface? No. 
I've seen it take a minute for them to like register and actually make an attempt. But I don't want to take my eyes off them. Last time I, last time I stopped watching, awful things happened very quickly. Okay. Um, I'm also gonna close the gate behind you. That's smart. Okay. Now we watch you ascend. 150 freaking levels. You're going pretty quick, though. Could outrun a dwarf push in a minecart uphill, that's for sure. Genleth has a mission. And it's to wait patiently inside a closed room. Jeez, it's 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 going, <laughs> it's going fast. Okay, uh, incoming. Uh, what? Excuse you. What was that for? I mean, you can go into any of these. You want into that one? Yeah, come on. You just really wanted that one. Okay. There you go. Caught. What was the other one? There was one in, in cave... Cave one. So many corpses in here. There's so many corpses everywhere. Gok, you're cave two. What are you? You you have killed. You're a dinosaur. Why don't we just, you know, grab grab him? Or no. No, this is the top of Cave 3, that's right. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that. We'll just empty out Cave 3. Actually, there's some goodies in here. Maybe that's smart. We'll go in and, and find our little find our little goodie bags. Oh, and you're just gonna you're gonna go right for it. Excellent. I love a beast who knows what they're about. I'm going up, right? Yeah. I think between streams, I'm going to go into our militia uniforms and designate that they all take steel things specifically so that they can, you know, use the steel that we have. I think we have a bit more than we need, at least for for some things, like for boots. We clearly have enough boots. Uh, but once we get them, once we get their kits complete, 
I'm satisfied that they have their steel stuff equipped. I'm going to send them onto the world map and start attacking goblins. Next stream. That's my goal. Oh, come on. Do you hear someone sleeping? Ashtesh. <laughs> Mom, I think there's monsters in the walls. No, go to sleep, Ashtesh. It's fine. Oh, come on. You want in the same one? You can just right here. It's right there. Oops. Pressing their hands against the opposite side of the door. <laughs> Darling, I'm right here. Why are you... Why are you this way? There's only one way for you to go. There's only one thing you can do here. Someone needs to... Oh, what's my... What's my frame rate doing? Rather than tanking. We have... Do we have birds again? What happens every time I get birds? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh no, they're caged. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now what? You can get to the surface from there. It's not very far. Hmm. If I wanted him to go to one of these, I'd have to, like, open all the other ones. Oh, that's a big deal. Weird. What if I do... What if I do this? Let's say... Let's raise this one. Hey, we're saving! Goblins! Come on, goblins! You know you want to! I'm actually gonna run to the restroom right quick. I don't want it to... I don't want it to go while I'm gone, though. <laughs> this time. Pause. Be right back. Uh, where's my thing? Blam. Okay, I'm back. <coughs> ah, hmm. Okay. Uh, so I I opened. So I want you to come out 
like this. Can you do this? Do you understand what I'm trying to do here? They don't actually hear each other, right? I don't think they can actually detect each other through walls like that. Or that they would care. The other ones didn't care. I mean, you can actually get to them right now. And blam! There we go. You can be there. And then you can be there. Ah. Thank you for cooperating. <laughs> okay, now I just want some goblins. Come here. Momus has imposed a ban. Um, I'm gonna say that's enough monsters for the moment, so we'll we'll get our safety levers going. If we get goblins, they'll come any second now. And if they don't, then we might be done for the day. Creature, what are you wanting to bite over there? I think it's food time. Hey, don't, don't chew on my stuff. Okay, uh, well, I don't know that they're going to show up today for this season. I'm excited to see how, how Dearly holds up. Creature, you've been so cute for so long, and then you wake up and chew on it, everything immediately. Stop. I said stop. Random teeth on the ground. And look at this. Oh, there's still... There are still some honeybee remains in there. Hmm. I thought I said you can no longer... do that. Yeah. Weird. Creature. I will kick you out. Okay, um, well... Where does that leave us? That leaves us with a brand new shiny... Menagerie trap. That's just waiting for some goblins. And with a, a shiny new Magma Forge situation. This is very cool, right? We're making steel. We're melting objects. I might even say... I'm going to reduce the number of work orders that each of these can take so that they all spread out a bit. These ones can take whatever, and then these will take whatever. Yeah, that works. And we were going to move our bar and block stockpile. That's right. Uh, we can move it right here. Oop. 
bars and blocks, but only metal. Not those. Not those. Not blocks. I mean, really, it's just bars. Because there's, there's blocks of, like, uh, whatever was it. Blocks of coal, but we don't want blocks of coal. We want bars of coal, which is coke. What does it show up as in here? Not a metal. And the material is this. So we want coal, and that's it. So all the other stuff has other places. And then I want you to have a good number of, of wheelbarrows, honestly. And then we just get rid of this one. Because that's... Alright, you had coal. We're taking metal blocks. We're not making metal blocks. So whatever. Uh, so yeah, we remove. Alrighty, okay. Um, blue peahen has been found dead. Oh, is those things getting old? We just did a year change. No. Okay. So. I think we're good. That puts our, our bars and blocks just two levels right above. We could even we could even put it here realistically, but eh, whatever, whatever. The fact that it's above and not below is the real thing. Ah, uh, but yeah, uh, we have we have magma forges. We have a menagerie. B2. We have a, we have squads. Like, look at our where are they? They're, they're around here somewhere. Look at our squads. We have novice X dwarves. Hooray! And people training. So yeah, um, we'll wrap up here. In the next stream, we will start our crusade against the goblins. We'll send some of our novice squads out into the world map and start attacking the gigantic swath of goblins. We are... Oh man, there's like... There's more every time we look, even. Uh, so we are here. And these are the goblins that have been with us for a while. Uh, but the ones up here are just spreading. Slowly and surely, taking over everything. Um, the Crypt of Combining is another Dwarven civilization. Our capital's down here, our other fortress, right here. Um, yeah, Crypt of Combining, the Realm of Enjoying. Huh, that's a human stuff. Goblin Hamlet. So yeah, um, we're gonna start... Bad Faith. The Dark Goblin Pits of Bad Faith. I think we're going to attack get Bad Faith first. It's pretty good. Uh, but the Crested Flies. Yeah, the Crested Flies is a gigantic goblin civilization. Malign Sizzles. Malign Labored. Glutton Jackals. Drake Poison. Ghoul Tresses. Ore Flies. Amber Steels. Sinful Dusts. Call maligned. Vice Menace? Smoldered maligned. Wound Ticks. Sin Grieved. <laughs> that one was hard. That's hard to parse. Sin Grieved. <laughs> and Twinkle Torments, of course. Yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's what we have 
ready for us next time in our little fortress here. Very happy, very, very happy. I'm glad that I got the chance to hop on and do a do a little makeup stream here. I was sad that I couldn't get our, our new menagerie going yesterday. Uh, doing doing silly things. Not not stupid, but like whatever. It wasn't streaming. It wasn't fun. Um So, thank you. I'm very happy with it. Um I am still thinking that it would be cool to turn this into a uh, succession fortress while I'm obsessing over Armored Core. If you are interested, let me know. But I, I think it would be cool now that this fortress is kind of on... I mean, it's kind of uh, autopilot. So I don't, like, I don't know how much fun people would have playing it. It's like, it's kind of going on its own, but there's also some toys in there to play with. Like I gave you, there you got a menagerie. You got a steel squad going. If you want to, like, you know, persist with the crusade against the goblins and start laying waste to everything on the surface, I would love that. That'd be really cool. Um, let me know, because um, I think I think it'd be cool. And I will definitely be streaming this fortress on Monday. Oh, and that might be the last stream uh, of Dwarf Fortress for a minute. Uh, I, my, my tentative plan right now is Armored Core comes out next Thursday. And I'm going to do that until I until I beat single player mode, at the very least. Um, who knows if it's a game that I obsess over for a long period of time and do a bunch of extra stuff in. Who knows? Like Armored Core Randomizer? Is that, that going to be a thing? Is that going to be a thing? Who knows? Uh, so I, I could... I could stick with it for a bit, um, or we could just like beat the game and come back to Door Fortress. Um, who knows? We'll see. We'll that we'll see. Um, but at the very least, for however long it takes me to beat Armored Core, I'm open to turning this or even the other fortress, uh, Elder Ring. We could even turn that into a succession fortress. No reason we couldn't. I am awful at this game, so it could go well if it runs on autopilot, or it could go very bad. That's true of every fortress, though, and that's the fun. I think it'd be kind of hilarious if uh, if a viewer destroyed this fortress and then I had to go back and reclaim it. That would also be fine. I'd be okay with that. It'd be funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah. Um, anyway, come by tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to see if we can finish Aliens Dark Descent. I think we're on the last mission. Who knows for real? Uh, but we're we're awfully close to the finish. Um, if we don't finish it tomorrow, then we might do like a, a bonus stream sometime during the week because I'd like to wrap it up before Armor Court comes out, so I don't have to like leave it hanging in the wind, un incomplete, like 99% done. So I want to finish it before Thursday, and that will likely happen tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but then come by on Monday for more of Dwarf Fortress. And come by on Thursday for Armored Core. That's what the week looks like. And I am so, so, so happy that I get to actually be here and to do that and not get stuck in jury duty. I'm happy. I'm happy. Um. Uh, yeah. So this is this the that's it. That's the stream. Um. Today's episode was sponsored by Rivers. Getting you to places mostly downhill. And by you, clicking buttons, subscribing, following, joining the Discord, all that good stuff. Uh, check out the Discord for the, my latest project. I have a cosplay that I'm working on. It's really cool. Uh, no, I don't think anyone's guessed what it is yet. Um, and that's that's going to be... I'm going to have to finish it in the next two weeks. Because that's the thing that I want to do it at the... Wear it for is like at the end of the month. So uh, come check out my progress pics. I think it looks nice so far. And yeah, um, have a good weekend and don't forget to stay kind. <laughs>